Yo, what's up guys, it's Sammy here. Welcome to episode 6 from Twisted Bow to One Bill series. Last episode we did 24 hours of Zura and then I asked you guys uh, what I should do next, like what the next 24 hours should be. Uh, it doesn't really have to be 24 hours of the same thing, but yeah, I was just asking for opinions. I myself thought about doing 24 hours of Slayer, but I came up with another idea. I'm basically gonna start off with doing Slayer and I'm gonna uh, start the recorder. I start the timer once I get the boss tasks. And if I get a shitty task, I'll either skip them or do them without the timer. So it's basically going to be 24 hours of boss tasks and maybe some god wars in between. Because if I get greater demons, that means uh, um, I can do Zami. Uh, don't worry guys, I read your comments. And also, give a, I want to give a big thank you to everyone that liked this video. 600 likes in one day. Also got 33,000 views. Uh, I like this comment so much. 6 hours of Bando, 6 hours of Armadale, 6 hours of Sarah, and 6 hours of Zami. The only thing with this is I got the armor pet and the Sarah pet and I don't want to do God Wars if I already got the pet. So 6 hours and 6 hours, 6 hours of Zemi and 6 hours of Bandos uh, would be possible but I um, don't want to do something which I already got the pet off. And doing things like giant mole and stuff 24 hours is not really worth it because uh, you know what you're gonna make around like 400k an hour, 500k GP an hour so it's not really worth it. I can just tell you how much I'm gonna make in 24 hours. They don't have any unique drops so that's kind of boring to do. So right now I have a Cerberus task, so we're gonna start that, start off with this and then probably hunt for more boss tasks and maybe I'll put some bandos in between without Slayer, without a Slayer task as well. So let's start with Cerberus, we got 147 to kill, also gonna use the bracelet for more kills. Let's start. And there we go, we got the first Elite Coup of the series, I got it from Cerberus. I'm gonna finish this inventory and then do the Elite Coup, we're 45 minutes in by the way. And there we go, first elite casket. I forgot to say, like last episode, I am not gonna resume the timer when I'm doing elite clues. I wanna see how much money I made from the boss itself, not from the clues. Uh, the clues I just see as a bonus. So yeah, first one of the series, Glug me. Uh, 260k, no master clue, let's go back to servers. And there we go, we're nearly two hours in. First unique application crystal is the worst crystal. Even a smoldering stone would have been better, but yeah. Unique, I can't complain I guess. Let's continue, we still have like 80 or 90 left on the task and the Burst of Slaughter will give me an additional couple kills I guess. And there we go, we're nearly 3 hours in and we get the second Elite Clue. No Uniques after the Pegation, but yeah, uh, we got like 50 left on the task. Hopefully we get something decent. I will take an Eternal, uh, if not the Primordial would be even better, but yeah. If I don't get anything, I can't really complain because I get one, I got one unique and it's pretty unlucky I got the worst one, but yeah. Let's continue and let's see what this task will bring us. I think this is one of the fastest elite clue I've ever done. I think it was only 8 or 9 steps, so let's see what the reward is. 87k, oh that's so bad to be honest. Also we need like 72? Yeah, 72 more leads for the heavy casket if it's 200. I'm not even sure if it's 200 or 300. I'm pretty sure it's 200, but yeah. Let's go back to Cerberus, we got like 50 kills left and 21 hours ish, so yeah, let's continue. Hunt for the Primordial Boots. And there we go, we finished the task, it was also my 800 task, so that's pretty nice. Managed to get 375 points, bonus points. Anyways, let's get a new new boss task, uh, we have 19 hours and 50 minutes left. Didn't make any money besides the regular drops and it's not that much. 1.7 mil in 4 hours made. But yeah, we got unlucky, we got the Pegasian crystal instead of any other crystal. Any other crystal would have probably made me at least 6 mil for the Eternal and 25 for the Primordials. So I got a bit unlucky. I'm trying to get the Episode Sire task again. I want to get that pet over with, but yeah, Episode Sire is at least 1 mil an hour. It's better than Cerberus, so yeah, let's get a new boss task. And there we go, the very next task, we get 131 Black Demons. I'm actually going to do it, time to kill some Demonic Gorillas. Too bad there is no pet potential, but I know for a fact if you get a Zenai charge, which is 12 mil. So hopefully we get lucky. I haven't done this in a while, I, I think I only have 100kc. And those kc I did on the day of release, and I actually got a heavy ballista, which I sold for 55 mil. I mean I mean the heavy frame parts, so yeah. Let's go back to Demonic Gorillas and see if my RG is on point, because at Cerberus we didn't get anything. And there we go, we just finished the Black Demon task, we didn't get any drops. Uh, still made a decent amount of money from the regular drops. Also got the hard clue and an elite clue, uh, which I had in the previous trip. I decided to finish the trip and then do the elite clue and the hard clue. 
Uh, the elite clue is basically 1 in 500, so I could have gotten a Zenite Shard, but yeah, that's just my luck. We got 17 hours and 43 minutes left. Let's get the new boss task and let's see what it is. I'm hoping for some episode sire because I really want to get that pet over with. Or some servers again, that would be nice. So I'm pretty sure this is the reward from the elite clue. Lock me. Nice. I did the hard clue, I only got 80k, didn't record that, so hopefully this elite clue will do better. No, I didn't. 150k, let's get a new boss task, boss task and see what it is. And there we go, that's the task we needed. 248 sires are gonna get killed. Hopefully we get the pet. I think my, uh, let me see what my KC is in episode sire. 2,231, I am around 300 off of the pet rate, so hopefully we get this task. Let's see if we do. Okay, so the very first kill of the day, I get the lead clue. As you can see in the chat, I just logged in. I, well, I did a farm run and this is the first kill. And we get the elite clue. Um, yeah, let's do it and come back. I just hate to, to down gear and re gear every time. Also, sold all, my whole bank to buy the Dragon War Hammer because it's actually good for Episode Sire. And yeah, didn't, didn't have enough bo money to buy the boots, the Primordials. But yeah, this setup is pretty decent. This is basically my whole bank right now and the Twisted Bow. So let's do the elite clue and see what this and then come back to Episode Sire. Uh, I think I've only done like 8 kills, so elite clue so fast and it's pretty nice. Let's see what the first step was. Let's and there we go, casket time, let's see what it is. 143k. A lot of you are asking me why I put the Ring of Wealth on. I don't know, I always do that. And uh, I know it doesn't affect the Ring of Wealth, but I've been doing it for since pre uc so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Maybe Jagex doesn't tell us, but it does help you get third age. We'll never know, you'll never know. It's a small little effort to do, and I always bring a ring of wealth in case I need to buy some stuff from the GE for the clue parts. Anyways, let's go back to episode sire and get that insire drop. Watch me go back there and get the first kill, and I'll get another lead clue. It's gonna happen, I, I got a feeling. And there we go, about time. 14 hours left, first insired. Can we get the pet? I want to get this over with. I'll take anything uh, except the head or the jar. A bludgeon piece would be good. I am not sure if I have one in my bank. I'm not even sure, but let's see. I want to get the pet. Get this boss over with. 14 hours left. We still haven't got any good drop, so luck me. And it's gonna be... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is rarer than the... This is the rarest item you could get, except the pet, I think. Let me, I think this is even rarer than the pet, I'm not even sure. I'm gonna search it up. Okay, so I just looked it up. The pet is 3.9% chance of getting it from the insired. And then the second rarest item is the head, head which is 7.8%. So I was so close, close of the getting the pet, but yeah. Fortunately, we didn't, didn't get anything. Well, that was the first insired, so we can't really complain. I think it was under 100 kills because my task was 240. So around 80 kills. But yeah, hopefully we get this pet, this task. It's going to be so sick if I do. I think this is going to be the first pet for me that's over the drop rate. Uh, in the past, I've got so lucky. Every pet, every pet I got was under the drop rate. Uh, looks like Episode Demon, Episode Sire is gonna be the first one in which I don't get under the drop rate. So yeah, let's go back to Episode Sire and finish this boss off. So I don't know why this keeps happening, but every time I do the first kill of the day, I get an Elite Clue. Anyways, 12 hours and 8 minutes left, we're almost at the halfway point. Let's do this Elite Clue and hopefully we get something better than 150k because our average loot is so bad right now. And there we go, 9 step Elite Clue, luck me. Nice, we got the Master Clue and 355k. Hopefully we get the Bloodhound pet, even though it's 1 in 1000, which is insanely rare. Okay, so even though this was a 7 step Master Clue, which is the longest, it only took me less than 10 minutes, so good luck me. 315k, no pet, that's unfortunate. Let's go back to Episode Sire, we have 12 hours left. And there we go, another Sire, number 22 I think, KC 2471. 10 hours and 26 minutes left. Come on, is this gonna be the first drop I get? In before pet, let's see. Come on, don't give me the head. Don't give me the jar. Okay, bludgeon piece, the first piece of the set, I guess. I'll take it. And there we go. Not shortly after, we get another desired. 9 hours, 33 minutes left. Uh, I either wanna see the pet or the second bludgeon piece. So, good luck. Come on, come on. Praying for the pet. Really, really game. 
And there we go, another insight. I was about to finish the task, 14 left, 5 hours and 30 minutes. So let's cash this in and see what we get. I'm hoping for the pet or the second legend piece. I didn't want to see anything else, so good luck me. Okay, second legend piece. We need one more piece for the full set. So I don't know what this first kill of the day. I had like 9 left on the task and I get them insired. 5 hours and 7 minutes left. I don't know what's, what's wrong with my luck, but every time I leave and come back, the first kill I do is like instantly a drop. As you can see, if I scroll up, I did a couple hybrid fights and drew now with my friends. Anyways, first kill insired. Come on, am I gonna get the final bludgeon piece or the pet? It would be nice to get the final bludgeon piece, but yeah, I prefer the pet over it. Come on, I think this is my fourth insired this task. I don't really know, but good luck me. Really? This is so bad. This is the second rarest item you could get after the pet. Basically, the pet is 3% chance to get, Abby at the 6%. So I got unlucky again. But yeah, I can't complain. I got four insires four insire this time. And there we go. Finally, task completed. I don't know about this, but this episode sire task always takes so long. I think I've been spending at least 12 hours here. We got 4 hours and 42 minutes left. Which means it's time for a new boss task. Let's see what this. I might even get episode sires again back to back. I prefer like DKs right now or like Cerberus again. So let's get a new one and let's see what it is. And there we go. It looks like we're going back to Cerberus. 144 on the task. Pretty sick. So hopefully we get the Primordial Sword or Pet. No fucking way. No way. First kill. First kill. I'm not even kidding. First kill we get the Primordials. <laughs> my luck right now. I just don't know. Did you just kill me? I don't care. Oh my god. Let's just continue. First kill of the task, Primordials, that's insane. And there we go, first elite clue from this task. We have 3 hours and 19 minutes left. Gonna finish the inventory though and then the elite clue. And there we go, casket time. Hopefully you get a master clue uh, or a semi-decent reward I would say. Good luck me. 146k. And there we go, second elite clue of the task. We still have 42 remaining and 2 hours and 11 minutes. I will probably do this after this inventory again. There we go, second drop of the task, Eternals, the second best crystal we can get. It's only 4.5 mil now, uh, for some reason everything's crashing, but I'll take it. We got one Primordial, one Eternal, so looking pretty good so far. And there we go, casket time, let's teleport away. This was an 11 step clue, so good luck me. Garbage again, let's go back to servers. No way, my RNG right now, second Primordial crystal, make sure I pick it up. Second of the task, we got three crystals, two, pri two primordials, one eternal, so that's pretty sick. We made around 45 mil this task alone. Got 15 left and one hour and 30 minutes, which means I can probably do one more task. There we go, we just finished the task, we have one hour and 12 minutes left. Which means I can do one more boss task, uh, I'm not even sure if I can complete it, but so far this task was pretty beast. Two eternals, one, no, one eternal, two primordials, so let's get the final task of this episode. And there we go, we got the Abyssal Demons, which means we're gonna finish off the Abyssal Sire task with 1 hour and 11 minutes left. Hopefully we get the third insired, I mean the third piece of the bludgeon, then we can actually sell it. But I'm gonna put that in the price check as well, it's basically 2 thirds of a uh, bludgeon. And there we go, we're out of time, 12 seconds left. Fortunately we didn't get another insired to finish off, finish off the bludgeon, but I'm gonna include the two pieces I got. Because basically it has some value in it, uh, if I complete the whole whole bludgeon, I could sell for 30-ish mil. So I'm just going to take the price of a full bludgeon and take two-thirds of that. And see how much we made in 24 hours of doing boss boss tasks through, through Slayer. So let's go to G and start selling all the loot we got and see how much we actually made. Also I got an Ellie and code I want, but I transferred that to do the Inferno. Uh, still haven't gotten the cape if you're watching this right now. Uh, after this episode, I'm probably gonna camp until I get the cape, to be honest. We just sold everything, the loot tab. Uh, managed to get 16.3 mil in cash from all the regular drops, all the rune drops. So that's pretty nice. So it's guaranteed 16 mil without any uniques. That's let's calculate 16.3 divided by 24. 
times 100 is 670k an hour if I'm not mistaken, is that right? Yeah, 670k an hour. Got one Pigation, one Eternal, two Primordials, I got pretty lucky. Second server's task, I got two. I turned one into the Boots because I might as well just use them for the Sire. Um, minus the two on the K from the Dragon Boots. Also made one mil from the Elite Clues. I did not include that in the timer, I basically paused the timer. Because I don't uh, want to put that in the timer, because some people don't do Elite Clues. I do that basically, I need to complete 200 uh, Elite Clues for the Heavy Casket. So yeah, I, could, I would say we got pretty lucky. And we got unlucky. We got a jar and an Abbey hat twice, I think. I'm not even sure. Because these the clips I got in this episode are divided separated in two or three weeks because I took a break from this episode, played a bit of Deadman mode. So let's see what the pr final price check is. 16 mil. The primordials crashed a bit, they're like 18 mil. Wait, how is the crystal 20 mil and the boots 18 mil? Doesn't make any sense. Um we're looking this this is no this isn't accurate at all. Let me let me price check the boots. So okay, it's twenty mil. I'm gonna use a calculator instead of just the price check. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell these two, uh, the Eternals and the Pegasians because I'm not gonna keep those. Wow, they're not even selling. Is it really crashing that hard? Let's just put them in for three mil. Let's see if it sells. This is garbage. Sells for fi fifty mil. There's no way. Okay, anything else I could sell? I think I'm gonna sell one primordial, see how much it goes for. Okay, it's 20.3 mil, so I'm not sure what the what's going on with the prices. So and a bludgeon, let's see how much a bludgeon is because I'm gonna include these two as well. Bludgeon. It's going for 35 mil. So 35 divided by two divided by three times two, that's 23 mil for these two pieces. So we basically made 39 plus 22 plus 24 the primordial crystal. That's 82 mil. We made 82 mil in 24 hours of doing Slayer boss tasks. Uh, I also did Domin Dominic Rillis because that's not really a boss task, but we'll see. Um, how much did I say? 83. So 83 divided by 24 is 3.4 mil an hour. That's pretty insane for just doing Slayer. Not sure how much XP you gained, but you have to keep in mind, I used supplies as well, but I didn't keep track on those because it's hard to track because I had different tasks. So let's say I used maybe 10 or 20, 10 to 15 million supplies. Episode side, I basically just teleported the house portal every time. Cerberus, I used a bit of anglers, prayer potions, nothing really special. So overall, 84 mil made in 24 hours, that's pretty insane. Also got the jar, and I need to finish the bludgeon. Might do that in the future. I still have like 200 left on the task. I might do that in the next episode. But I'm not sure. Leave leave a comment in the uh, comment section what you want me to do next, the next 24 hours. Or do you just want me to do random stuff, like mix it up again. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. And see you next time.